Following Judge Oliver Garland's nomination to the Supreme Court, several things occurred in the past. Initially, he thought it would be easy for him, but over time, he came to understand that some wished to delve into his background and portray him as a controversial figure. He lost his nomination because of his affiliation with Jack Ziegler, and he withdrew his name, locked himself off from others, and stopped mingling. For months, he merely stayed at home and stopped attending activities. His wife, Claire, became concerned for him and begged her children to persuade him not to feel ashamed of what had happened and to stop regretting anything. It was the first time Judge Oliver had ever been publicly criticized, and Senator Edelman made sure he questioned him extensively. Judge Oliver felt he had served his time and should put up his boots, so much so that he resigned from his current job. When Judge Oliver stopped attending church, Father Foreman came to meet him at his house because the two were very close at the time. It came to our attention that Judge Oliver had not attended church for the previous two years, which was quite significant for a man of his stature. Oliver's mother informed Talcott of his father's activities, and Talcott then spoke with him on the phone. To go get his life back, he instructed him. Nevertheless, Talcott's statement provoked Oliver to such an extent that he consented to an interview with Fox News. When Oliver asked Talcott if he could speak well of him for his job, the latter said that he didn't want anyone to believe that he was connected to him or that he shared any of his father's beliefs. Oliver was obviously hurt. He didn't want the world to see that he was close to his father, it was his own child. Following that call, Oliver granted Fox News' request and delivered a riveting interview. Talcott's misgivings about Kimmer in Emperor of Ocean Park were not unfounded. Something that transpired between them back in 2009 gave Talcott the notion that Kimmer might deceive anyone without anyone noticing. After meeting at Chicago University, Kimmer and Talcott became friends. Although Talcott was enamored with her, he was sitting in a coffee shop one day when she suddenly appeared, so he approached her and struck up a conversation. Talcott asked Kimmer what was bothering her as it appeared that she was uncomfortable. Talcott learned that the man who had just entered the coffee shop was Kimmer's husband. Kimmer had said nothing at all about having a husband. In the alternate history, Talcott had assured him that he wouldn't suspect Kimmer since she had assured him that it was all in his head and that she wasn't seeing anybody else. Even though Talcott reassured her not to get insecure, he found it hard since he secretly feared his wife would turn against him. He realized that she was not speaking to a typical acquaintance or co-worker when he spotted her taking calls late at night. Furthermore, Kimmer had made it quite apparent that she didn't want anyone to believe that he was connected to either Jack Ziegler or his father's contentious relationships. She intended to project a very tidy picture in front of the authorities for her nominations, but I think Talcott won't be able to achieve so soon. Although Talcott was unaware of it, the presentation led us to believe that his father's death was not the result of natural reasons. He will delve more into the swamp which will undoubtedly have an impact on Kimmer's career. Thanks for watching. Please remember to share, like, comment, and subscribe for more videos.